Good afternoon, traders. Um, interesting one we're going to look at today is the VIX. Now, we've seen the multi year lows in the VIX as, as people are just selling off volatility. There's this kind of complacency in the market that uh, everything's just going to keep ticking along. You see this every now and again with the VIX where the volume sellers come in um, and every time the futures contract rolls over, they just sell it down to the next expiry. Um, we haven't seen a level this low. If we go back to 2021, which just goes to show uh, how, how low the VIX has gotten. But we are coming into a very interesting week. So it's certainly one to watch. We can see it did jump on Monday after a, a all week last week of heading down. Um, what we have coming up this week, which could see the VIX uh, have a little bit of a resurgence, one I'll be watching absolutely is we do have CPI tonight, uh, PPI tomorrow. Both of these will play very big parts in the Fed's decision on Thursday, which is obviously uh, also a very big risk event for the VIX and for equity markets in general. And we also do have uh, our once uh, once a quarter uh, quadruple witching uh, expiry, which basically means that index futures, single stock futures, uh, options on index futures, and index, index options all expire on the same day, which is Friday. Um, now, that's the reason to have a look at that is it normally does cause quite a bit of volatility uh, and movement in the market. The last time this happened was March 17th. So if we do go back and have a look at that date, uh, obviously the market was in a different place then, but we can you know have a look to see what did happen. Um, that will be this day here. I'll just draw a line to make it a bit more obvious. This day right there, you see there was actually quite a big rally in the VIX on that day, around 10%, um, a lot of volatility. Obviously, there was a lot of volatility due to the Ukraine war at the time, but still, uh, when we look back at the latest one, um, it's a sign that certainly the triple, uh, triple witching expiries does normally cause a little bit of volatility, and volatility is what will get this up. Uh, heading up, obviously. Um, one other quick thing to look at is the disconnect between the VIX and the VVIX, which is another uh, index from the CBOE that measures the actual volatility of the VIX. So the VIX is a volatility index, and this VVIX is the volatility of the volatility index, if you can work that one out. But you can see that there's a pretty close correlation. They normally stay uh, fairly even with each other. There has been a, a real disconnect in June as uh, VIX traders have really just got complacent with the market. The market's been very low vo low volatility, uh, melting up day by day. But that gap you you could think would fill, um, I think if it's going to fill this week with uh, the risk events coming up, certainly a possibility of that. So keep an eye on it. Yeah, if you think everything's going to uh, put along as normal, obviously sell volatility like uh, everyone else is doing. But I'm keeping an eye on this. So I think there will be some volatility this week with the news that's coming out. Um, so it could it could open up some some good trading opportunities as that as that VIX normalizes from these uh, historic lows.